Hey, what's going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a blessed day. If you haven't gotten a chance to subscribe to this channel, please do so. Ring that notification bell. And uh, if you get a chance, um, go in the description. I got a link to my book, Credit Anatomy, where you'll be able to download um, some dispute templates that may help you along your credit journey if you need to dispute something. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about uh, the state of the economy. Um, I know I talk to you guys a lot about credit. I'm going to try and mix in a little bit of credit as we uh, as we go along on this journey um, in this video. But um, as I look more and more, I see um, what our government is doing as far as like, uh, you know, the stimulus. They just gave a stimulus of a trillion dollars and you know uh, cut rates to zero and um, they said which I mean we already knew that we were gonna end up going into a recession now are we gonna go into a depression probably not um, if you guys are thinking about being in the market uh, y'all that's a dangerous game right now you you better be in it for the long haul if you're in it for the long haul those of you that are okay with um, holding stocks for for years at a time that's great you know but if you are you know in and out of the market every you know 30 to 90 days um, not necessarily day trading but just trading um, then chances are you're gonna get your rear handed to you because there's so much volatility and things are up and down right now I just I wouldn't play that game right now but um, what this video was about is it's more about the economy as far as what I'm seeing and I, I want to stay focused because I really want you guys to understand that um, going forward the dynamic for the next two to three years is going to change for those of you that got your credit together you're gonna have some great great opportunities I remember back in 2008 um, when we had the recession um, there was people that were getting steals on homes um, there's a couple of youtubers that kinda talked about you know them purchasing real estate during the 2008 crisis but we're gonna be in that situation again here real shortly so those of you with your credit together um, you're gonna have an opportunity to take advantage of some of these situations um, now the the problem that I'm having and, and my fear is the fact that a lot of the stimulus that's going on is it seems and it appears to me like it's mainly for uh, big business I don't see a lot of uh, stimulus packages um, for the small mom and pops I know they came out with a tax cut for uh, employment tax um, but what I would like to see is what are we going to do for small businesses um, because I believe that's the driving force for our economy and as we sit here and look and see what the the government is doing it seems like all these uh, these real big stimulus packages are heading into the pockets of those that are already in a situation where they're going to be okay or they need to fail um, not that too big to fail cliche but there's some some of these companies right now that just have too much fat and that's why the stock market is over bloated was was over bloated anyway um, I, I've been saying that for a long time maybe not on this YouTube channel but I've been saying that for a long time already that you know it just seems like the stock market just kept going up and up breaking new records every day for no rhyme or reason um, even when we weren't having the growth um, in our economy so when you you look at this um, I just want you guys to be aware that um, going down the pike if you're working for a small mom and pop business that small mom and pop business is going to be experiencing some really really rough times and usually when you have rough times um, one of the things that small business owners do is they let a lot of their employees go and so if you're working for a smaller company just keep your eyes out uh, make sure that you're you're always um, updating your resume 
um, updating your skill set because uh, we don't know what it's going to look like for the next two to three quarters. Um, up until the end of this year, December this year, um, I would just be really, really tight with my money. Even if it looks like um, things are looking like uh, they're going to be turning around, sometimes with a lot of times what small businesses do is once they know that they're in the clear, they try and uh, cut off the fat in their business. And um, if you're one of those that, you know, are new to the business or just not as valuable, um, I hate to put it that way, but just not as valuable to the company, chances are you could be on the losing end of that transaction. And so I want you guys to be aware that now is not the time to go out buying all these non-essential items. Um, if it's a necessity, go ahead and grab it. But six months worth of toilet paper is not essential. Um, you're going to be okay if you don't if you run out of toilet paper. Trust me. Um, and that's not a commodity that's going to be going away anytime soon. I don't foresee us running out of toilet paper. Are you following what I'm saying? So I never really understand the fact of people going out buying six months worth of toilet paper, especially when you could use other items like paper towels or you can take a shower, clean yourself off. Um, that is not an essential item, right? And so be smart with your money. This is the time that you guys really want to think about how you can stretch your dollars, right? And, you know, I know back in the day, Thanksgiving, we could make a turkey. And, uh, you know, Ma, she would, we would make that turkey last a long time with turkey sandwiches. And so just be in the mindset of things that you can do to make your dollar go a long way. All right. I'm not talking about top ramen for you know, the next year, but I wouldn't go out spending money if, if I didn't have to, um, as far as is, what do I see in, as far as freight, do I see it contracting? Well, I do see that rates are going up. Um, now is it for the fact of not a lot of drivers? I can't really say yet. I'm trying to get a temperature of what freight's looking like. Um, we we go off boards and people will like shippers will put their commodities on these these load boards and we would go on these load boards and pick up the commodities but usually what you can do is go into certain areas and look on load boards to see um, what the freight looks like in that area and right now I don't see a, a contraction in freight I don't see a contraction as far as how much freight it is being moved um, now I have seen just like I mentioned in one of my previous videos that um, a gentleman was trying to pick up some freight but warehouses were closing but as far as freight um, I'm not seeing a real problem as far as grabbing a load like if I wanted to grab a load right now I would not have a problem grabbing a load so um, that's something to be aware of if you can sit there if you're a truck driver, I'm saying if you could put yourself in a situation where you're on the load board, I think you're going to be successful. That's just my two cents because I'm looking at the freight and it's look it's looking like it's picking up as far as the freight rates. Um, there's certain drivers talking about, uh, I don't know, what do you want to call it, uh, striking, um, doing these these different I, I just don't think it's it's the time for it right now that's just my personal opinion um, that's not what I'm looking to do um, if it's an opportunity where you can grab a load that's decent I'm gonna haul it right um, I got a few things personally that I'm taking care of so I'm not on the road probably get back on the road tomorrow um, but those of you that are looking at the market thinking about what you're gonna do with your money are you going to um, you know, go out and spend, you know, on that latest, greatest shoe or whatever it is that you're thinking about getting. I just don't think it's the time for it. Um, right now, what I would be doing is focusing on paying off my debt. Um, if I can pay down some of my credit cards, if I can call my credit card company up and, and renegotiate some of my terms, whether it's my interest rates or my credit card limits. 
um, these are the things that I would be working on right now not necessarily going out purchasing anything that I don't need um, going out luxury dinners all that if you got the money great but you better have like three to six months worth of savings sitting in the bank before you're starting to do these luxury spends um, that's my two cents and, and I hope that everyone is staying safe and really focusing and staying on track with their budgets um, right now kids are off school so nine times out of ten you have a tendency to kind of splurge right when kids are off right that's when it seems like we're going out to dinners a lot going to fast food restaurants and doing all these things I'm not gonna tell anybody how to live their life but I'm just trying to say you know these are the things that we need to be you know uh, aware of and and keeping an eye on the market you're seeing the stock market go up a thousand points one day and then it will go down two thousand the next um, today it went up a thousand dollars or a thousand points on the Dow Jones but then you look at the futures it's gonna be down tomorrow at the start so these are the things that you you're looking at and you're constantly trying to be you know aware of and you're, you're trying to get a temperature of the market you're trying to get a temperature of the economy um, I don't understand why they're throwing all this money at these large businesses um, due to the fact that we're, we're in an epidemic we're, we're like we're in a situ situation where very likely um, hospitals could be crowded and my thought is why aren't we taking that money and actually spending it towards healthcare some type of way whether it's building hospitals or facilities for those uh, especially the elderly people that are going to need that care um, if we can build start building some type of facility or something like that to where we can start housing people um, that really need help oxygen making sure everybody got health care supplies I, I think that's what I would be focusing on the most but maybe it's just me maybe it's my news feed um, you know because I watch a lot of financial news so a lot of the news that I get I see the government actually doing a lot of programs for these large institutions and I know they came out with something that said that they're going to um, allow people to uh, skip interest on student loans um, I haven't got all the details of that but if you have a student loan and you're able to take advantage of these programs I would definitely if you get the opportunity to check to take advantage of these opportunities um, they were also talking about uh, mortgages um, I believe they were going to see um, I, I think it was the interest rates um, the, or the interest on the mortgage you're not gonna have to pay the interest on the mortgage or they were going to uh, not uh, you weren't gonna have to make a mortgage payment for 90 days or something like that and all I'm saying is try and find programs that you can get into to help you save money because these large institutions they're always trying to take advantage of you and they're always trying to take a, a situation to their benefit and all I'm saying is if you do have the help that's there for you um, take it okay take it don't don't be one of those people oh, I'm gonna be okay I'm gonna be okay and then when it starts really hitting the fan you're scrambling and that's what this whole channel is about it, it's trying to put yourself in a better situation so that when it does hit the fan um, you're not scrambling right and that's what I always try and focus on and I try and talk to you guys about credit and I truly truly hope everyone that's been watching this this channel for at least six months have, have put themselves in a position to where their credit is gonna be able to sustain them if they run out of cash right because like I said and then if you're looking at the economy I don't know if you guys watch the numbers if you guys are looking at everything that the way everything is shaping up I don't foresee us coming out of this um, with flying colors. I, I just don't. All right. I don't think it's going to um, be a situation where, you know, okay, we get a cure tomorrow and the economy is going to be great. 
even if we do get a cure I'm saying that um, the small businesses are still going to be affected all right the the small businesses and I'm not talking about like uh, Bank of America right or or Wells Fargo any of those institutions I'm like like I said you know mom and pop shops um, if they got a, a very small employee count chances are there those are the ones that is gonna get hit the most and if you're working for one of those small mom and pop shops um, I would I would definitely keep my resume together I would definitely um, be looking for other employment just in case right just in case and just keep my ear to the ground as far as who's who's hiring and who's firing and um, it, our small communities are gonna get hit hard all right I'm not gonna keep just parroting the same information over and over but I hope everyone's staying safe um, and if you guys get a chance leave a comment let me know what's going on in your local community because uh, I'm interested um, it's all helping us out if you see something that's going down let me know I know I was talking with my brother earlier and uh, he was saying San Francisco is like a ghost town um, I was talking with another gentleman earlier today and uh, he said he drove to uh, three different stores trying to find milk so uh, out in Sacramento I guess everybody's taking everything off the grocery store so like I said once again just if you're going to be shopping like that make sure they're necessities make sure there are things that you know um, you're gonna definitely need um, when it when it hits the fan alright so I'm not gonna get on this pulpit and start preaching to you guys you guys pretty much know what to do um, but I do wanna just keep reaching out to you guys I'm, I'm gonna start making some more videos about credit but in this time um, I just wanna always keep everything front and center with you guys and and if there's people out there that need help or, or what have you um, that we all stay in communication right we all stay in communication and uh, that's what this channel is about all right so I really appreciate you guys time I hope everyone's staying safe and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one God bless bye bye